and this is Lit Happens, your celebration of the literary arts here in Saskatchewan. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome our guest, Randy Morin. Randy is from Big River First Nation. He grew up speaking the Cree language and listening to the elders tell stories. He is married and has three children and is a faculty member with the Indigenous Studies Department at the U of S. He is the author of two books for children and is working on his third. Randy, welcome to the show. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Danica. So it's, it's really lovely to see books for children. I love children's books. Mm -hmm. But these books are special because they're not just in English. You're, you're teaching as well as telling stories in these books. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what, I, uh, what I've also done is I've included the audio. So whoever buys the book gets the, the audio. So they learn how to read the standard Roman orthography, the Cree. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to read it, right? So, right. so yeah, I'm just doing my part to keep the language alive. And that's something that I've, I've seen you in the community several times at mm -hmm. different events where yeah. you speak with yeah. such passion mm -hmm. about keeping the language yes, alive. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm a language champion. I've been doing it since, well, since I was small, I've been speaking it. But now I've seen a decline in the language and the stats are alarming. Uh, so I'm just doing my part. Like, uh, I'm, re I'm really honored that I teach at the university. Like, I was also teaching at the Catholic School Division for 10 years. So now I teach at the university, teaching the language and uh, Indigenous studies, yeah. And it's, uh, it's a special year this year. It's the year of Indigenous languages. Are, are you doing special things this year? Yes. I know we should celebrate that every year. We Yo, should always absolutely. be working on it. But is there, are you seeing that there's opportunity for, for extra celebration this year of Indigenous oh, languages? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always, you know, all these uh, events happening. Myself, um, I've been given the opportunity to create a certificate program, a speaking certificate program. So if you come to university, take my Cree class, you'll, you'll, you'll leave there with a certificate, but you'll also have an emerging level of fluency in a language because it'll be like eight classes, all speaking, mm -hmm. like 100 to 400 level classes. So um, we do a lot of uh, language classes out in the community, me and Belinda Daniels. Mm -hmm. So every month we have free week-long Cree classes in a community. And you could find that information on the Read Saskatoon website, Read Saskatoon. This summer, we're doing a Cree language camps, mm -hmm. two of them, July and August. Those are a week-long, total immersion, out in the land, swimming, fishing, all that good stuff. So you're, you're, you're learning the land skills as well as the language skills, which, oh. are so, which go so well hand in hand. Yes, yes, you'll be exposed to... Uh, Fishing, you'll be exposed to the ceremonies, you know, you'll land based, you know, berry picking, you know, medicine mm -hmm. with work, work with elders. So, yeah, it's really exciting. It's my funnest thing I do in the summer. Nice. You know. Now, these books for children, what what's your passion behind um, this type of work, the, the getting the language into the children's ears and their in, into their throats, into their voices? Mm -hmm. Well, like there are different themes. Like this first book here, I mean, this is my first book, Our Relatives, the Animals Give Thanks. It teaches people that relatives are our, I mean, animals are our relatives, right? And it teaches you to give thanks. So it's told from a perspective of young animals. It's really cute and a lot of people love it. It's simple and it's, you know, it's humorous. This next one, Sun and Moon, uh, teaches the beauty of uh, the value system that we have as Indigenous people, sharing caring loving you know all that stuff you know and and cultural teachings as well like you know it's it's full of humor uh and the illustrations on both books are amazing but my third book is uh on kinship wapan the wapus mm -hmm. so it's a city rabbit you know so it's, uh, it's real funny it's going to be kinship so it's going to be related to different animals that we find in the city Wonderful. And we have so many of the animal of the rabbits always hopping around our oh, neighborhoods. Oh, that's why I wrote the book, yeah. <laughs> would you like to read us a short little bit? Please? Absolutely. I can amazing. read from, yeah. So this is Kiwakumaganuak Besiskuak Nanaskumuak. Our relatives, the animals give thanks. Illustrated by Carla Joseph. Uh, so just I'll read you the first one. So, you know, if, if you could see here. Um, Tahto kiksi paayao niiso apsigihi sagno tigat tiwag na nasko muwag unigi ko muawa ay samgot si kino siwa ito yung mana kina nasko na nigawinan ikonohtawinan ay samiyak kino siwa. Each morning, 
The two little eaglets are hungry. They are grateful to their parents for feeding them their favorite meal each day, which is fresh fish. They thank their parents by saying, thank you, mom and dad, for feeding us fish. So it's very simple, right? So it teaches young kids just to like, wow, gratitude, you know, so gratitude goes a long way. So beautifully illustrated uh, stories. Um, This other book, uh, Sun and Moon. Uh, deals with siblings, yeah. twin siblings, you know. So this is really contemporary modern life for Indigenous people living in a city and going to the reserve, right? That's just the reality. So it's it's a humorous book. Again, um, Mitchell Poundmaker did an amazing job illustrating it, yes. you know. So, um one early Saturday morning, twin siblings Sun and Moon woke up excited. They were going to spend the weekend at their mushum and Kukum's house on the reserve. Mm-hmm. And the story goes from there. <laughs> and it's funny. It's full of humor and a lot of teachings. Excellent. I, and it's it's such a great way with such beautiful bright colors and, and the beautiful illustrations yeah. to to just teach in such a gentle and, mm-hmm. and kind way. Yeah, the language and the and the teachings as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, well, I believe a lot of a lot of young parents need to teach their children to read, read to them at bedtime. Mm-hmm. Like that's what we do with our children all the time, and that's what inspired me to write. Like you know, because we couldn't really find any books, mm-hmm. you know, so I made my own. Well, and it's wonderful that, like you said, that you have the audio res, uh, included as well. Yes. Because we, we want to hear the language mm-hmm. that we don't speak. And, exactly. and to be able to hear, hear it is, is so incredibly important. Yes, for sure. No, it's, it's fun. I like doing it too. And so you, in your intro, we talked about how you listen to the stories of the elders. Mm-hmm. So do you still get an opportunity to listen to elders tell stories? Uh, sometimes when there's gatherings, you know, usually, you know, the only time I do make it back home is when, you know, there's a wedding or a funeral or, you know, treaty day or, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I will sit with elders, but our, our elders are very few now, mm-hmm. you know, we're losing a lot of them. So we need to record their stories. You know, fortunately, I, I know a lot of stories. And I'm very fortunate that I get to story tell in these stories right throughout Saskatchewan. You know, so I'm, I love telling stories. Well, and it's so valuable yeah. to, to all of us mm-hmm. from, you know, all over the province and all over, you know, all over the world to hear the stories. And it's, it, mm-hmm. you know, and in knowing that there are so few elders who mm-hmm. have the stories, yes. to know that we have champions, yes. a story yeah, like you exactly. is, is an amazing yeah. thing to have. Mm-hmm. So, Randy, we only have a few more seconds. Mm-hmm. Where can people pick up a copy of your book? Um, they could pick it up at, uh, well, we're going to be selling it at the, at the Ramey modern uh turn in the tide bookstore will sell it um you know uh twigs and squirrel will <laughs> sell it uh you know just local bookstores really uh, i'm trying to work with mcnally and, and indigo to to sell it in their stores as well so um but you could just contact me on facebook voice morin <laughs> if you need a copy yeah well that's wonderful wonderful thank you randy thank so you much so for much. being on the show yes thank you so much thank you thank you I'm Danika Lore, and this has been Lit Happens. You can find past episodes by going to YouTube and searching for Lit Happens. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Thank you for watching. <laughs>